at my address frequent disease. It affects the lives of millions of people in Europe and all around the world. And it is in fact children that have the highest burden, because that starts most of the time during childhood. That's why there have been several documents that have tried to help physicians all around the world to deal with pediatric asthma, different guidelines, different consensus documents, but it was felt that uh, there is a need for having an international consensus which brings together all these documents in order to highlight all these common points and stress but there are some several common points between these documents and also critically review the differences and find out what we can do about these differences. The pediatric asthma icon very clearly highlights that there is a need for further research. We need to understand the pediatric asthma there. There's also a need to update our different guidelines and there are specific points where we need to discuss more in order to reach an international consensus in these points. And of course, there is a need of local interpretation and implementation of these principles. So, asthma and pediatric asthma suggest that in order to manage pediatric asthma, the approach should be holistic. It should include several elements. It should include education of not only the physicians, but also the patients, of the parents, perhaps of the teachers. It also includes the identification and the avoidance of the factors that can trigger asthma, which can be allergens, they can be virus infections, they can be pollution. It, of course, includes pharmacotherapy, treatment with specific drugs. It includes, in some cases, possibility of desensitized and other patients with immunotherapy. And an important element is a regular monitoring. So whatever kind of treatment is suggested, the physician has to come back and follow up the patient very closely. The document is already published. It appears online uh, on the website of the journal Allergy, uh, the official journal of the European Academy of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. It will also appear on the website of the European Academy of Allergy and Clinical Immunology and in the relevant websites of the other organizations.